Hey guys, Spray here from Condi Systems, and today I'm gonna show you all of the new features of the DK3D mug press, including doing tall mugs plus two mugs at one time. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna show you is how easy it is to do two 11 ounce mugs at the same time in the DK3D. And to do that, I've brought a few supplies with me. The first thing I have is my heat tape. Next, I have my two 11 ounce mugs, followed by my two transfers, which I've already cut out. And then finally, I have a piece of protective paper, which is going to stop any ink from going from the transfer onto the heat platen. The first step for these 11 ounce mugs is to place our transfer on the mugs. So I'm just gonna make sure that the mugs are clean align my transfer and tape it down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my second mug. So the way I like to tape, first, I like to make sure my handle's right in the middle and then bring my image around both sides. Make sure it's lined up. I'm gonna take one piece of tape lengthwise to anchor the transfer down. And then I'm gonna take another piece of tape the other way to pull it tight against the mug. Now that everything is lined up and taped, we're ready to go to our press. Now that we're at the heat press, and I'm sure that everything is nice and tight because I've already set it prior to doing these two mugs, I want to take my protective paper to make sure I don't get any ink on my, my heating elements, and then I'm gonna take one mug, and place it in, make sure it's nice and lined up. And then I'm gonna take my other mug from the other side and do the exact same thing. And then we're gonna close our handle and let them cook. Do you wanna see more great videos from Condi Systems? Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. So that sound means we're done. We're gonna take them out of the heat press, but, before I remove my transfers, I wanna check under the corners and make sure I have good ink transfer. This one looks good. Go ahead and rip the transfer off. And then do the same thing for the second one. are hot, so make sure you use your heat gloves. And just like that, in the same time that it took to do one mug, we have two completed. going to show you is how to do two 15 ounce mugs. So the supplies that we need for our 15 ounce mugs are the exact same as we needed for our 11 ounce mugs with one exception. For the 15 ounce mugs I have to open my coil just a little bit so I'm going to use the allen wrench that came with the DK3. Now if you don't want to use the allen wrench you can also use your fingers to adjust the knob but it is pretty hot so you want to make sure you wear your heat gloves. Also, when you do this, do one side and then immediately go to the other side so you make sure you have nice, even pressure against both plaques. Well, before I put a transfer on my mug, I'm going to use a blank mug, make sure my pressure is correct on both sides. And now we prep our mugs. To put my template on my 15 ounce mug, I'm gonna use the same steps as I used for my 11 ounce mug. I'm gonna align my template into the center of my mug using my handle for reference. Bring one side around, 
make sure I have it lined up correctly before I tape it down. Use one piece of tape vertically to anchor it, pull it very tight, and use another strip of tape horizontally to make sure it is nice and tight. So I've got one down, now for the second one. You also wanna make sure that you have any kind of lint or debris removed from your mug. You can just use a lint-free cloth or you can use a sticky lint roller. All right, now that our transfers are on, put our protective paper into the press. And then follow that with our mugs. So let's go ahead and remove our mugs. Once again, I wanna check my corners just to make sure we had our mug nice and centered. Remove my transfer paper. And let them cool. The last thing I want to show you today is how to do taller tumblers and water bottles in your DK3. So for this demonstration, we're going to use our Tum 218, which is our tall, skinny, silver tumbler. But the first thing I want to do is readjust my pressure and my press. So to do that, I'm just going to use an older mug that I've already kind of ruined. I definitely want to make sure the heating elements are covered with my protective paper. I'm gonna stick my mug in there. Want, it, want to get it in the center of both elements, and then I'm gonna use my Allen wrench and tighten it up. After tightening one side a little bit, you wanna to go to the other side and tighten it. And then just keep going back and forth to make sure you have even pressure. So now that I have everything tightened up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer onto my tumbler. First thing I want to do, remove my lid or any plastic parts. Line it up. We still want to overlap that seam a little bit in the back and then we're going to tape it. So for these tumblers that are, are fully covered, what I like to do first is take a piece of tape, run it horizontally so I'm pulling on one side to make sure I have it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna tape all the way up and all the way down the seam and run my fingernail along it to make sure that I don't have any kind of seam marks when I get it, take it out of the press. So let's put it in the mug press. When I do these taller tumblers, I'm gonna use my tape mark as a reference point. So when I place it in the mug press, I wanna make sure that my tape mark is facing out and so that way, when it's halfway done, I can turn it 180 degrees and get a full bleed all over the entire surface of the mug. Be sure to check Condi.com for all of your latest instructions. So now that my first side is done, I'm just going to flip my mug so that the tape is on the back side. And press it again. Okay, so now that both sides have been imaged, we're going to take off our tape. mug press from George Knight is fantastic. Not only can you do straight walled tall items now without an oven, 
But you can also continue to do all of the things that you've been doing in your DK3 mug press before this. So your camp mugs, 15 ounce mugs, and 11 ounce mugs. All of the things you see here on this table, we did with our DK3D. So be sure to contact your Condi account representative today to find out more about not just our tumblers and our mugs, but about all of the amazing equipment that we offer. This is Sprite from Condi Systems. Happy sublimating. Mm -hmm.